Committee reports, legislative update, Mrs. Shorter. <clears throat> yes, uh, thank you very much. Um, I have just a brief, it's more like a, um, a judicial update. Um, uh, there have been concerns about the changes to the Ed Choice Expansion Scholarship Program. Um, <clears throat> basically, those limits have been lifted. Uh, it is expected that $1 billion in taxpayer money will now go to private school tuition. As a result, um, more teachers in, uh, the state, in the state itself have joined in on the lawsuit. Um, the concerns are that <clears throat> The same line items that fund public schools are also um, funding the $1 billion for uh, these vouchers that no longer have a cap. So, <coughs> <excuse me. clears throat> um, so at this point, there have been, uh, there's been an increase of about 900 to 1,000 new voucher applications that are coming through the Department of Education. Mm -hmm. Um, so the concern is that it's a really big jump and it's going to put a lot of undue stress on, um, on the school budgets overall. So more than a third of school boards throughout the state of Ohio have <clears throat> joined in this lawsuit and apparently uh, there are some teachers unions that are uh, now enjoying it and joining the lawsuit as well. I think it's important to um, just keep you apprised on what's happening at our state uh, legislature. With $1 billion, that's a large amount of money. In many uh, instances, we look at the local um, school district and we, you know, as parents, we ask questions about this and why can't we do that and why can't we do this? Well, <clears throat> uh, so much of what we do is governed by our budgets and those budgets are really a part of your property taxes, but also the state, <clears throat> the state share. So it's important to know what's happening with your state legislature and where your tax dollars are now going. Any questions? No, it <laughs> occurs to me that we've been fighting for decades now about uh, the constitutionality of how we fund public schools and now a billion dollars That's goes right. somewhere else. That's a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Of money. And there's not a cap anymore. There used to be a cap as to the income level for the parents. There's no longer a cap. There's no longer a cap. And so I expect that through real time there will be more of an increased um, the strain on our public coffers. And parents just need to know that at the state level these things are happening and reach out to your legislature. Don't just knock right here at the local level. You've got to go a step higher and <clears throat> ask those kinds of questions and uh, be an advocate. Thank you, Mrs. Shorter. Um, next up is Butler Tech. I do not have a report tonight. Student Achievement, Mrs. Gundrum. Okay, tonight I wanted to recognize uh, Crossroads Middle School student uh, Marion Sissy Davis. <coughs> she is one of our repeat achievers. Um, we mentioned last uh, summer she had participated as a junior Olympian at, uh, in Iowa, I think it was, Des Moines. And uh, she recently received um, a proclamation from Hamilton County Commission President Alicia Reese for her participation um, as, as an All-American at the uh, Junior Olympics. <coughs> so that is a really big deal and we are really proud of you. So great job, Sissy <coughs> Davis. Sissy Davis, great. Thank you, Mrs. Gundry. So Mr. Clark, Parks and Rec. <coughs> yes, um, Christmas is like 11, 11 weeks away. You like that, don't you, Bill? I do, I, do, I love it. Stuff. <laughs> Can we just uh, skip Halloween? <laughs> I agree. Yeah. Um, as the park says, trucks, golf carts, wagons, walking groups, if you can light it up, you can join the parade. So get floats, get trucks, cars, bicycles. Brian, you have a bicycle you pedal? <laughs> or is that, is that electric? It's electric. Oh, okay. <laughs> Um, but you can decorate that and join them. Uh, so anytime you can do that. The uh, parade this year is November 9th, or I'm sorry, November 18th from uh, 5 to 7, so it's always a lot of fun. 
Um, also, uh, the Christmas tree sponsorship and uh, decoration is available too. So that's, you're going to see trees in the uh, CAC building there from November 18th through December 18th. And a lot of those trees get donated to families that uh, either can't afford or don't have a tree. Uh, and you can sponsor a tree as well. Um, the um, farmer's market is still going at this time every Wednesday from 4 to 7. Treats, cakes, good food, vegetables, crafts, a lot of, a lot of fun, uh, fun food and, and uh, gifts you could buy for your Christmas, Christmas uh, family. Uh, last Sunday, the parks had the uh, Bengals game. Unfortunately, we lost, but they, um, we purchased a large screen uh, to watch movies on that can be seen in, even in the evening during daytime. So this screen was on, um, on, on the stage there at the amphitheater at Village Green. Uh, at 1 o'clock, they played the Bengals game, had a food truck. Um, it, was, it was just a great event. A lot of good turnout. The day was perfect. Sun was out. Uh, blankets. Seats, kids, families all joining that. And uh, again, the only thing that was bad is that the Bengals lost. So. Uh, we did that with the Reds game and also with uh, FCC game one time. And I'm sure we'll do, do more of that coming up. So it's a good time. Um, and I believe that's all we have for this week. Great. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Clark. You're welcome. Mr. Smith, anything from Planning Commission? Uh, Planning Commission uh, did meet recently. However, they were they did not discuss any topics relevant to the school district. Great. 